Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be making a dress from the magazine So Beautiful. And I'm gonna be making, this is for 2013. And it's gonna be this Olivia's Easter dress. I'm gonna be making the tutorial as a sew along I'm gonna be posting all the pictures with the steps. This includes sewing, and also it's gonna have some English smoking. For those that would love to be entertained with this little video, welcome and thank you for watching. In here, I have the right front of the dress. I already have the fabric cut, and it's only one single piece of fabric. I have, we have all these for the smoking pleats. I have also the dress, the left of the dress, which you have gathering here on the top. It doesn't have any, any pleating in this side. I have the back area where it's gonna be pleated all the way here, cut and fold. And then it brings this bias strip for the sleeves. I have the left front band interfaced, already interfaced, and also the back band already interfaced. And by last, this is the right front band that's gonna be attached. So now I have all my pleats done. I have marked the middle pleat and 22 pleats to the right and 22 pleats to the left. I have done the same in the front, in the left front, and here is the smoking I have done. It's very, very cute. I already marked my seam allowance there in yellow. And I'm gonna continue I will try to continue to do the same pleating here in the back side, in the back pattern, but I think it's looking so cute. Now that I have all my gatherings for in English mocking for the front piece and also for the back piece. I'm gonna start to machine or to sew all the shoulder seams. I already have it all there. Gathered, there is a slight yellow line that's gonna guide me for the one and a half inch seam allowance to put it together. I have also interfaced the left pattern, interface and folded, leaving no row edges here. So this is where the bottoms are gonna be gone. Yes, we will put place the bottoms here, but the interface will give some stability to it and the bottom holes will go in this in this pink band that is gonna be attached in here later. So let's continue. Okay guys, I have already sewn the seams on the shoulders together and I have already searched this area to leave it kind of clean. I did it the same in the other. I have finger press flat to make sure it lays flat but this side of the neck and also of this leaf is gonna be close with the with the bias band also i have closed the left side of the front pattern and this is where the little bottoms are gonna be placed 
but this is how it's going. I didn't do all the way to the bottom area because in here goes the hem allowance and sometimes I just don't close the hem allowance like this. Sometimes I just place it inside and then sew it. So you will see here in the video how it's going. But now that the shoulder seams are placed together, I'm gonna be going, getting ready to attach the band, the neckline. Now that the shoulder lines are sewn together, I'm gonna go ahead and sew the side of the little dress. Okay, now I have prepared the hem. I have sewn half an inch or one and a half inch, just half an inch in my machine so I can turn it around because this hem allowance is one and a half um, inch. So I already have prepared and I'm gonna mark, since I already have my half inch back, I'm gonna mark one and a half inch mark so I can turn the hem in into this and it will be one inch. So the best for me to do it is to mark the one inch mark in this side, in the right side of the fabric. So I will go and mark, mark one inch all the way through. And by the way, this is, this is washable marker that I bought for my son. So he will not really make a, a damage in his clothes. And I have worked pretty good for me for the years sewing and marking my my fabric with this marker it really really washes off pretty good it doesn't have i never have had the problem where it have ruined the fabric so after i do that i'm gonna go around and i'm gonna turn it around in the mark and in the inside i'm gonna go ahead and catch stitch all the hand by hand. So I see you around. Okay, now that I have all my hem with full of pins, and the reason is because it is easy to fold a hem when it's straight. But this hem, if you relax, it have a little curve, and because of this curve, it is better if you. Be, um, do some basting stitching by hand or if you put some pins around and you will see why because you see when it goes down this little gap in here is because the fabric is unbiased so i went in here to the center front of this pattern and i go all the way here on the side seam of the dress and i match i match my 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 seams to make sure that when i fold around it's not gonna be moving to one side or the other so here it goes the yellow marks the one inch that you already did in the other side now i'm gonna turn it around in that yellow mark turn around my hem and pin it back and i like to pin my fabric with the pins like you see it i don't like to do it straight but a little bit a little bit perpendicular so it doesn't leave the fabric all stiff and it just move around especially when your fabric is unbiased so here it goes i'm gonna do the same in here and then I pin this blue one and I'm gonna be doing all the way around. Now I come here to the center between this and this, between the 
middle of the pattern and the side seam. I'm gonna come here to the middle. And the reason is because there is a little bias and that means that the fabric stretches a little bit. It leaves little gaps and then I just distribute it between one side and the other. If you don't do it this way, you will end up that this side seam move all the way away from your pattern. So it's like a, like seaming your fabric inside the seam allowance. See, it's gonna be this little gap in here, but when you iron it, it's gonna go flat. The steam will kind of settle it inside there. And it's gonna be the same in here. If you do it by machine, you, your, your hem, your fabric can have this in there and you don't want that. So that's the reason when you have this sort of, of hem, it's better if you do it by hand and try to give it a little press with the steam with a little bit of water if you don't have a steamer water and the hot iron and it will press it down for you to be able to really settle it down inside your fabric kind of like when you are doing your your sleeves so that is you can accommodate it and then you will come and hand sew it back i have to continue doing the same all around across the dress so here we go. First, I'm going to match my hem, my seam here on the side to make sure this seam match all the way the same line. And that way, it doesn't move because it eventually will end up moving all around. And here, in the hem where the buttons are gonna go, I already stitched just before the hem allowance and what i did is that i opened and i put the half an inch inside and i'm gonna try to do again the half the other inch so i don't do this just to try not to do it if it gets to be very difficult i will have to do this but at least the row edges edges are already inside i'm sorry for my accent and no for my accent as much as sometimes my pronunciation sorry so now i come here to the middle of the pattern what it appears to be here and i'm gonna again find my yellow line and pin my hem allowance and i'm not gonna take your time i'm gonna be doing all that and i'll be back okay guys i have ironed the little dress a little bit I have, I wish I can show better. There are the little sleeves. This will be the left area and, and the right goes on top of it. When the band goes attached, it's gonna look much better. But I have already ironed the hem. So I'm gonna go ahead and start hand sewing it see the what i was saying how it really the steam makes where the bias of the fabric in here will lay flat on it and it will not be as bad as without being pressed see look how flat that curve is really going down it's really great so i'm gonna start hand sewing the hem and let's try to advance in this little dress okay so now i'm gonna be hand sewing gonna catch a little bit in here and just enough to do not be seen in the other side although in here it won't be seen because in here it's interfaced but that is the idea to catch a little bit 
of the top and then on the other side. That is what my grandma one day taught me how to hand sew this hem by hand and just a little tiny bit in there I think it's not even visible all you can see is the hole in the fabric but I'm gonna be doing all this through the hem and going all the way through the hem yes and I will be back when I'm finished so you guys don't have to to see me doing all this for too long and instead you guys can see just the little pieces of the dress when it's finished so the video will not be too long to make and it will be more enjoyable but this is how it's going right I will continue okay guys I have finished all the hem of the little dress this is how it looks in the right area and in the inside so now what I have to do is attach the band that goes all the way in the neck area in the neck I already have sewn or machine it doesn't matter the band that goes all the way here on top in the neckline that goes all the way here to the left so it is half an inch seam allowance and I have stitched a little bit so I can have, I can attach this right area to right area and then go ahead and make it go. It's supposed to hang half an inch out of the hem. So there we go. I'm gonna be attaching this. This is what I think is gonna be the most difficult part of it. because I have to put this in there. There we go. I would say it's the only part of the little dress. <laughs> now you're like, oh no. To match it this way in the right area. Just because that part in there is very important. I still have my pin there. I'm gonna attach first all the way in the long side, the long way first. And then I'm gonna have to be trimming a little bit around to be able to put the neckline. So this is how it's gonna be. Trying to match fabric, this to fabric. I'm using plenty of pins just to make sure that I don't have to use the same dripper. It's okay. I have it already like this, matching both fabrics because this is gonna be attached. So this is gonna go to the front under, but since it's a curve, it's gonna need to be clipped all the way here to be attached in this curve. And I have to make sure that these gatherings in here in the dress match the space that the band has 
from here all the way to the shoulder. I honestly think that this was not necessary, but whoever designed this pattern is his or her design, but I absolutely think it's unnecessary to have gatherings in here after this beautiful pleats in here, but here we go and go to the machine. Here we go. I have attached the band that goes here in the right pattern. It's gonna turn like this to the front, like that. So now <laughs> I need to attach the front area that this is gonna go inside and this is gonna go on the top. So now here I go to maneuver all this in the gatherings needing to go here. So I'm gonna have to turn it around. I'm gonna have to clip in there, clip and turn it around. But first what I will do is match my shoulder line. And after I do that, I will work with the gatherings to adjust the front. And then after this, I'm going to have to adjust the gatherings. And I'm not talking about the pleats, I'm talking about these gatherings. I'm gonna start pinning. I have to clip. To make sure that I clip there the pattern to make sure it's going to to fall. Bring my pins closer to be able. to match the curve. And I'm probably gonna hand stitch it in place and then machine it all the way around. So I have come, I have finished in the sewing machine. I have stitched the band. I still have to put the other facing, but at least the front right facing is on. I will work to make sure this is beautiful flat, but the very difficult part is finished looking very cute my shoulder alignment is perfect the back and the next shoulder alignment is perfect as well here is the left band with the seam allowance left for the facing and so far this is how i'm gonna leave it for today and I will continue putting the facing, putting the nest facing to be finished with this little cute dress for the nine month old baby girl. And I will have the other facing stitch all the way through to be finished. I will try to do this tomorrow and also to do the bias tape for 
by step four the sleeves so i'll be back to continue with the little details remove my hand sewing out of all of this and put the facings and the sleeve so now i'm gonna attach the facing to the band to the neck band and i'm gonna put right sides together and i'm gonna start matching my seams i like to match my seams first just to make sure that even though the one the other is gonna be in the inside i like to make sure that they are gonna be aligned For example, and there. I get my pins. Match the front. You can even do that. Oh to this then I go and match the other shoulder I'm gonna open the shoulder line finger press align them and after they are finally match or align and going to the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew half an inch all around so that's what here in the middle in the back it really doesn't need to it doesn't need a pin in here is the front I'm gonna match in here it is a curve. I like to make sure everything is fine. The curve. A little bit here in the neck. And the band and the long way here is where the bottoms are gonna be where they where they not where the bottoms but this is where the bottom holes are gonna be sewn so i like to have a very good interfacing in this band in here this there is gonna be the close at the end so i'm gonna machine all the way till the end and it will be open and it will close in here but first i'm going to the machine and i'm gonna sew all this Okay, I finished sewing all the way around in the curve and all the way to the end of the band. But in all these round edges, I'm gonna go around and trim. And the reason for me to trim is to cut a little slit, just going enough to the to where the sewing line have gone so I can turn it around with no problem and it won't look it can turn around easily see if I try to turn this inside this area you will see once I cut how much nicer 
it looks. It's always nice to do that in the curves. You come to give it a little bit of bias to the fabric. So it will fall nice, especially in here in the front neckline. Some people, what they do is they do little triangles like this. And cut a chunk off. And they will do the same. It can be either one. I think both of them works. To me, I have noticed that just doing the same gold slit, it works fine. Absolutely fine, the same. Maybe in here, in this round, it will be better to do that. Because all this is gonna be in the inside and doesn't get to be bulky since it's one round, but at the other would be just fine to be just a single slit. So that will help us, let's do a little bit in here. And in here. Let's see when I turn it around, it's gonna be much nicer now. What I'm gonna do is, it's gonna go all the way to the inside. You can use your finger to try to round it out. See, everything is gonna be there in the inside of the neck. You can do a little bit of finger press along the way. And it just falls nicer. I'm gonna pull some pins. Yes, to admire it. <coughs> Here it goes. Reading. And then this is gonna have to be turned in the inside as well. But meanwhile, I keep preparing all this. This is a corner. This is a corner in here on the top. So what I do is that I turn this to the inside. And here what the seam is to the inside and I go with my finger and put it inside and it's a perfect corner I don't have to be going with the scissor and doing this inside because it can really pull in it can make a hole in the fabric and I'd rather not to have a hole in my fabric This seam needs to be ironed to the inside. So when we turn it around, this is gonna be covered. But one step at a time. First, you see how in here is nicer. And now the neck in the back and 
It is so funny for me to have those. Those funny pins that are a little curvy. And here we go. It's taking shape. Once the neck band is on, I will have the sleeves and that will be all done. Here goes another pin. So this is how it goes looking. I'm gonna go and iron it a little bit to make sure that all this is more in the inside than in the outside. I want the facing to be in the inside and not in the outside. And that's the reason I like to paint a little better. Make sure when I go and iron it, the facing is just inside. The same here. Now you can do an understitch for that, but with this little neck, it's kind of a pain. This one is fine, you see the facing is in the inside. And then I will go and iron it. And I'll be back to continue my under sewing. Okay, I have ironed a little bit the little dress. I can't believe this is a little dress. This is how little a baby girl can be. <laughs> but I have ironed a little bit the band. It is not perfect right now. This um, marker marks are starting to bother me, so I need to finish it as soon as possible. But I already have the neck band ironed a little bit and the inside seams to where I'm gonna close the the seam in the dress the other thing that i have done is to mark this is the front right band and this needs to be inside some people might turn it inside like this and close it ah uh, that's not the kind that's not the way i do it so what I do is that I take this band, I open it and bring it to the back, to the front like this, open, right with right sides. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sew all the way in this line. See what I ironed, that will serve as a mark for me to know where to stitch or even in this line in here. So let's do that and you will see the difference. And I'm gonna sew, keeping in mind that this hem allowance is folded to the inside. It's not gonna be like this because then it's gonna be open. What I need to make sure is that this, the same way this, the seam allowance is inside already, I'm gonna keep it inside and I'm just gonna go and so in this iron folded line i'll be back so now i have ironed this i can choose to trim it trim the same allowance but then again i'm gonna turn it in the inside and just fold it just like i did earlier in the neckline and get it in the inside like this it is quite bulky in here and then the corner do that comes out because of the bulk so i'm gonna choose so i'm gonna choose to trim this to reduce bulk definitely 
would look much better when I try to turn it around this way. Much, much better. And then in the inside, it doesn't have any bulk either. Um, what is my little scissors? I have lost them. Apparently. There they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and be trimming threads the other end. And I'm gonna be starting to close my band so I can finally give it a good press and wash because I cannot stand anymore those marker lines. I'm gonna be pinning my little dress and I'm gonna be sewing all this in the inside neckline of the dress just to make sure you already saw me cutting a slit in here to be able to turn this to the inside. I'm gonna open it to show it and that I cut a slit. And I'm placing my pins to go ahead I don't know if this is going to be possible. This area, okay, there we go. And I'm going to make sure to put this inside a little bit. There we go. Trying to cover the raw edges just so I make sure it doesn't come unraveling later. It doesn't unravel later. Threads that I don't need, I'm gonna be trimming in my way. This is all I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be going around and I'll come back when all this is sewn so we, or hand stitch so we can finish the sleeves with the bias tape. So, in here I'm finished sewing all my neck band. Here we have, and in the right side, the right, the inside, it is all hand stitched. So now I can finally get over with it and go do the sleeves. And I'll be ready to wash it. <laughs> I have the bias tape already sewn. It was seam allowance, one inch. That was interesting. One inch seam allowance. So. What I'm gonna do is cut a little bit bulk, especially this kind of bulk at the edge, because when turned around, they are the ones that practically bothered. Some people turn it to one side or to the other, others open it in the middle, 
I went and placed my tape and ironed it all the way, a long way the middle. So it looks like a tape. And you can do the tape in the bias tape, you can sew it in two ways. You can go to the inside of the sleeve and match a little match the seam a little leave it at the bottom so nobody sees that and you can attach it like that to look like part of a sleeve and then at the end let me show you you can sew it on here and then sew this edge Then search it and it will not unravel. That is just for options of people in how to finish the hem sleeve with a bias tape. So what this would do is that when you turn around your sleeve, the sleeve will look like if you have an extra or to color side or hem. Some people call it like a false hem. This is not how this is intended to be finished. What this calls for is to enclose it. So what I would do for this is open my bias tape and I'm gonna close it to the outside. So you will see, I'm gonna get this inside the hem, inside the little, the little sleeve, and I'm gonna match. Matching both seams, okay, and then you go around pinning. You see the other middle, the other line to match also that on the shoulder line. And here. And this is not a big sleeve. So we just redistribute the rest. One more pinning here if you please. If you want. And the rest in the other just to keep them in place. Now I'm going to sew all the way half an inch inside, only half an inch. Okay, so I have finished sewing the bias tape all the way around in the inside of the sleeve to the outside of the sleeve or in the ugly part of the fabric to the right side of the fabric. And what I do now is that I turn one quarter of the tape because already sewn in the inside. So what is left, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold it 
and I will fold it in there to hand sew it. And that is how I will finish the dress. Now you can do it, you can, you can sew it to the inside or to the outside and do all the way in the other side. It doesn't matter, it's gonna be the same. As long as you have a good stitching, it's gonna be the same. Wow, I have already poked myself. So there it goes, fold it and fold it. There. Not that. Now go down. And this one, because I already did the middle and the, it's already trying to get itself in place. This in here have a lot of bulk. So what I'm gonna do is trim a little bit in here. I open my seam I cut a little triangle Then I will fix my allowance, less bulky, feels so much better. And it's a pin. There you go. Much better. I think here in the middle, I will try to cut a little bit of the bulk area as well. It's being too much. And it feels in the way how the fabric doesn't want it to lay down. Now this little fab, this little pattern in dress was calling for the dress to have a lining as the dress itself. I didn't put a lining on it because usually when you have all these many gatherings inside the dress, like you have all this, the lining doesn't have any sort of gathering, it just falls flat and the pattern didn't provide any, any pattern for the lining at all. And because of that, I didn't have the lining on the dress, especially because I didn't have the dimensions. I didn't have the dimensions of the neck, how big it was. I have to round around and fit it to the neck band. And I think it was a little bit of a poor design, but not impossible to make. Here we go, now I'm going to do a hand sewing. I'd rather do it by hand than in the machine and leave this same close. I want to make a little demonstration in how I'm gonna sew this so it doesn't go all the way 
my stitches will not go all the way through the outside of the dress so what I do is I'm gonna get rid of this pin and my needle is already in there I'm gonna get a little bit of the fabric that is already inside and covered and I'm gonna get the edge of the bias tape I try to hide the little pieces of thread that I don't really need then again I'm gonna use from there see you don't you cannot see the needle on the other side in there and I'm gonna go ahead again hit on the edge with a little bit and it closes it the last stitch that for the demonstration just so I don't make this video so long here it goes and the edge and you see it will be covered and the edge of the bias tape that is how I'm gonna close the whole sleeve and the other sleeve so I'll be back to show pictures of the little dress being finished and hanging around so much for watching the video I hope I can upload more videos here in my channel and that you enjoy it please don't forget to subscribe and that to give a like to my videos and I'm sorry if sometimes I mispronounce the words in English have a blessed day bye bye